Gymnasium, Greenfield High School. Tonight, a girls Franklin County League matchup. It's the Greenfield Green Wave taking on the Frontier Red Hawks. All right, we are about uh, five or six minutes away from the start of the game, the crowd filing in. Again, an earlier start than usual, so maybe not the crowd that we would accustom to seeing uh, an hour later. Usually it's a seven o'clock start, but yeah, a decent crowd has turned out here. And uh, the Greenfield boys, when I got here, they just finished up their practice. They're still riding high after that big win against Pioneer last night. But again, they're gonna focus on the rest of their season because uh, there's not a lot of wiggle room for the Green Wave. You know, they need to stockpile victories. As good as that was last night, it won't mean much if they lay a couple of eggs here. No, and it's funny because I had a chance to talk to Angelo Thomas on my way in here tonight, and we had a nice chat about what happened last night, and we brought up some of the weaknesses that end up hurting them. He said, Bobby, if we have more than 14 turnovers in one game, we usually lose. If we can keep that number to 14 or under, we usually win. Well, last night they only had four turnovers in that second half. They scored 25 points in the fourth quarter alone, and they were able to come back literally, as you and I were say, in a boxing match. They were up against the ropes with a nine-point deficit, an eight-point deficit, and still won by seven points. Very impressive what they did last night. And, of course, the Greenfield girls, they closed late last night as well, and they got the victory here on their home court, looking to do it again as they take on the Frontier Red Hawks as the Green Wave looks for their third consecutive win. It will not be easy, though. All right, we'll take a timeout. When we come back, introduction of the starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off. Frontier Greenfield next. Bear Country 95.3. For the Red Hawks, at four, number 32, Caitlin Mackin. At guard, number 13, Hannah Mackin. At guard, number 15, Kylie LaFord. At center, number 22, Haley Kutkowski. At four, number 20, Claire Kirkendale. Red Hawks are coached by Andy Michon, the assistants, Tom Scalzo, and Pete Blair. And now for your Greenfield Greenway. <laughs> At guard number 21, Anna Bukala. <laughs> At four, number 14, Mackenzie Goncalves.
right, and with that, we are just about set for tonight's ball game. We're playing game into quarters with a 30 second shot clock. Frontier coming in, and they're visiting Navy uniforms with the white and the crimson, and the green wave in their home whites with, of course, the green and black. been impressed with all season long is Caitlin Mackin. And she's going to be jumping center against Azamina Sessanjanin. Lead official is Glenn Mallet. Ball in the air. Tip controlled by Greenfield. And we're underway. Greenfield moving to the basket on the far end of the court. Off to our left. Frontier will be moving from left to right. Along the baseline. Kakemeyer sealed off there. Ends up at the top of the key. Cleared your head up. Poked away. And here comes Caitlin Mackin. Has it on the right wing. Looks to go right baseline, wrap around pass. They kick it back outside. LaFord's gonna put up a three, front rim no good. Rebound controlled by the Red Hawks. They get a new shot clock, Kirkendall. Cross court pass on the left. Three pointer by Caitlin Mackett, in and out no good. Another offensive rebound though by the Red Hawks and this is what happened last Friday night. Exactly, they got three to four chances almost every time and they missed. Mackin goes right baseline. The leaner is no good. Some nice defense down low by the Lady Wave, and they get a defensive rebound. Sesson John runs it up on the right. Kicks it back. Akula puts up a three. Air ball out of bounds. Back to Frontier. You know, you got to be able to move the ball a little bit just so you can find good open looks, Jeff. You know, getting the ball and just chucking up a three is not going to help Greenfield in this game here tonight. They got to take some clock as well. Hannah Mackin brings it up. In the left corner, it's Kirkendall. Claire sealed off in a high post. Coming through, the bank up and in. Hapkowski with the bucket there, two nothing Frontier. Nice play there by Haley. She had a good game Friday night too. Kakamara's pass gets batted down and Frontier comes up with the steal. Hannah Mackin runs it up. All the way through. Scoop shot from the left block is up and in. Oh, and they burned them down the other end of the court, too. That was a big problem right there. Greenfield's got to get back on the defensive end to be able to play defense and not give Frontier those easy buckets. Kala inbounds the ball. Gets it to Sessanjana. Coming through. Kala, top of the key, Sessanjana. Angles now towards the right. Through the hands of Kakemeyer, shot clock. Down to 15, they tried to feed it down low to uh, Mackenzie Gonzalez, but all the way back through is Mackin, and her runner is no good. Rebound comes to Greenfield. Sesson John in running it up on the right. Nice dish, left side. Kakamara, the lefty lean in, no good. Sesson John in the put back, no, but a foul down low, and she'll go to the line for two. You know, that was a time where they were able to get a nice offensive rebound. That's why they got a chance to get to the line. So the green wave being able to Take advantage of an offensive rebound to be able to get free throws. Sesson John is first free throw. Back rim no good. Score remains 4-1. She'll get one more shot at it here. Lefty shooter puts it up and that one bounces around and falls through for Greenfield's on the board. It is 4-1. 5.50 to play here in the first quarter. Anna Mackin, top of the key. Looks in the right quarter to Kirkendall. Bounce pass down low. Nice save along the baseline by Hudkowski, but it ends up in the hands of Greenfield. Coming all the way through, Sesson John had it poked away from behind. It goes off Greenfield and back to the Red Hawks. You know, that was all because of Kylie LaFord being able to come back and be able to knock that ball away. And then it hit a couple of players, and Frontier, they get the ball. 5.30 to play, first quarter, Frontier four, Greenfield one, Red Hawks with the basketball. Hannah Mackin sealed off on the left side. Caitlin Mackin is going to get called for traveling. Nice defense, uh, particularly by Josie Cloutier. Yeah, Josie did a great job. It was nice because she saw that they needed help, and she ended up coming in to give the help that was needed. Good job right there by the Wave defensively. But they've only scored one point, and uh, one point, and we're three minutes into this basketball game. Deep and left side, Kakemeyer for three. That is short. Rebound pulled down 
by Kirkendall. Long pass down court. LaFord over to the right. Caitlin Mackin comes through, but she gets hit hard, fouled. And let's see if that was on Kalkemeyer. It was with the shove. Of course, the student section, the GHS, said that was a good block. Well, <laughs> got to talk about the body. <laughs> and there's a timeout on the floor. We'll take the break. Five minutes, one second left to play here in the first quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 4, Greenfield 1 on Bear Country 95.3. So Caitlin Mackin will be getting two free throws right in front of us here, Bobby, as Frontier looks to extend their lead. Again, they, well, they had an eight-point lead over Greenfield at the end of one back on Friday night. First one by Mackin in and out, no good. And she'll get one more here. Ball is in the air. It is good. 5-1 Frontier, five minutes to play here in the first quarter. On the right side. Akula had it, lost it. A little shuffle pass back to Cloutier. Batted down by LaFour, but comes right back to Cloutier or Greenfield. Shot clock, though, is down to 12. Kakemeyer goes on the left side. Can't do anything with it. Ends up in the hands of Kaitlyn Mackin. Running it up, long pass up ahead. LaFour banks it in from the right side. You know, that's a great job right there by Caitlin Mackin to be able to see the cutting. LaFour, beautiful play right there by the Red Hawks. 7-1 Frontier. Now they're doubling down on Cloutier held ball, and the possession error will favor the Red Hawks. You know, they're so suffocating on how well their defense is that Greenfield just can't be able to handle the double teams and sometimes even triple teams and being able to find an open person because of how good this defense is. El Dorina, Susan John has just checked back in. Uh, her first minutes actually for the night. Scoop shot from the left side is up and no good by Hannah Mackin. Coming back, Azamina Susan John, a little drop step, wave off the bucket. She took an extra step. She Greenfield did. student section not happy, but Glenn Mallett got the call right. No, he definitely got the call right. And it was because two people from Frontier started to collapse the lane. That's why she traveled. Delaney Fifield and Anna Howard check in for Dave Michon's Frontier Red Hawks. So uh, the Hawks now with uh, even more height out there right now. And carrying the basketball left of the lane, Frontier. And that's a turnover back to the Green Wave. You know, what they're going to do is they got to start working the ball around the perimeter, try to find an open look and try to get rid of the ball and don't hold it too long. Rukala had it, got it down in the paint. Cloutier going after it, ends up in the hands of Fifield and here comes Frontier back the other way. Mackin will take it across. Loops a pass through the hands of Abby Howard and stepping on the baseline, however, coming up with the loose ball was Azarina. Uh, Eldarina says in John, but she had her foot on the baseline. Greenfield's going to sub, and we've got Hayes in for Greenfield. Seeing her first action of the night. Fifield will inbound on the baseline. Gets it into the foul line. Bounce pass right side. Caitlin Mackin's going to take a three. No good. Greenfield gets the defensive rebound. Long pass up ahead to Cloutier. Push pass left side, and Kackelmeyer puts it up and in. Yeah, that's her side. She is a lefty shooter, so she's going to stay on the left side of the basket. First field goal of the night for Greenfield. It's now 7-3 Frontier. 
Deep on the right side, three-pointer by LaFord is no good. And the rebound goes off of the hands of Delaney Fifield, and it's going to go back to Greenfield. Well, nice job right there by Eldarina Sesajanin to be able to get in there, to be able to work with Delaney Fifield to get her to knock that ball out of bounds. Sesson Jarnan runs it up on the right, stops on the wing, they double on her, loops a pass. Bukala, left of the lane, loses the handle, recaptures the basketball, but it's stolen away, and here comes LaForge, she'll take it coast to coast and lay it up and in. You can't hold on to the ball, they gotta get rid of it. They're, every time that they hold on to it, that's when they double or triple team you. And more times than not, it will result in a steal or a turnover. Sesson Jarnan has it on the right. They're watching her like a hawk right now. Very good shooter. Passes left side. Bukala going left baseline now is Kakamara. Nice pass. Shot up no good by Gonsalves. One and done for Greenfield. We're down to two minutes and 10 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Frontier leading nine to three. Mackin. It's a download to Abby Howard. Back to Mackin. She's going to go baseline. Right back to Howard. Great ball movement. No good. Mackin though cleans up from the right block. Well, you know what they do is they box out well. Right now, they have four forwards in one guard, and that's it. Yep. Definitely going with the uh, bigger lineup right now. The uh, one guard out there is Madison McKimmy. A double team on the right side. Greenfield breaks it. Nice maneuver down the lane, and Sesson Johnnan hits. Yeah, that was a fantastic move, and she was being patient, too waiting for that defender to be able to do her thing. Great job right there by Azamina. Frontier 11, Greenfield five, a minute and a half to play here in the quarter. LaFord has it on the left wing, goes to McKinney with a foot on the line. Her deep jumper is no good. And it goes down to Kakemeyer. Passes over the right side, Sesson Johnnan to the line, to the lane. Uh, pass a little bit too high. But Gonsalves goes out of bounds. I Back like the, the idea though, Jeff. That yep. was a good foul right there. I mean, she had the lane, but she was starting to get sealed. That was a good move, just a little bit too high for McKenzie to be able to get that ball for Greenfield. Caitlin Mackin is going to check out for the first time tonight. She'll get a little bit of a break and she's been replaced by Haley Hutkowski. McKinney tried to get it to Hutkowski, get batted away. Now a steal. As Amina Sessanjana goes all the way through, a little bit too hard off the backboard, and the putback by Kakemeyer is no good, out of bounds. Greenfield will get possession here. 49.5 seconds left in the quarter. You know what you gotta do is, uh, you gotta look at the clock and you gotta say to yourself, we gotta get a good shot. Deep on the right side is Kakemeyer. Long pass on the left side to Cloutier. Top of the key, that's a held ball, nope. Greenfield's able to maintain possession. Session John and bounce pass. Kakemeyer, they go down low. Gonzalez went for the bank. Rimmed out, no good. Good shot, though. Good, good look, look right there by Kakemeyer. That was the shot to take. Definitely. Front Frontier continues to lead 11 5. Down to 22 seconds left in the quarter. Hutkowski goes baseline. Reverse laying off the glass is good. How beautiful was that? But nobody was there to defend her down low. 13 5, Frontier. Left side, Kakemeyer on the wing. 10 seconds to play in the quarter. Shot clock is off. Sesson Johnnan, back to Kakemeyer. Can't penetrate. Top of the key, three-pointer put up at the buzzer. It is no good. We're at the end of the first quarter here at Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 13, Greenfield 5 on Bear Country 5.3. Greenfield's got to get rid of the ball. They got to move it quick. That's what they got to do. Kakemeyer has a deep on the left. Gives it up, and that's going to be a traveling call. 
on Greenfield's Anna Bukala. Yep, they got to continue to be able to move the ball and don't let the defenders double or triple team them. And we have a stoppage of play. The other, uh, I'm not sure what happened. Was it a mask issue? One of the girls had the mask down? I don't think so. I think you just got a bunch of wise guys over there. All right. <laughs> That's what I think, Jeff. <laughs> McKimmy on the top of the key. They work at left corner. That's Mays Poland. Coming through, LaFord, the leaner in the lane, rims out on her, no good. Well, Dorina, Sussan Johnny gets it to her sister. Azamina takes it through, a little scoop shot, doesn't get the roll, tip follow, no, goes up again, no. And we got a foul, working hard on the offensive board, and she gets rewarded with two shots here. Three offensive rebounds right there by Azamina. Now the question is, are yep. they gonna put her on the line or they know they're saying it was on the floor, so Greenfield will inbound on the baseline right. In the Cloutier, deep on the right side. Dumps it right down low. Kakemeyer turns, shoots, and hits. Yes. Nice play there by Kak, 13-7. Frontier's lead is six. Caitlin Mackin dumps it down low. Hudkoski gets blocked down low. Sesson Johnny comes back to the line, to the lane. The layup is good. Hey, here we go. Greenfield picked up four points. They only scored five the whole last quarter, Jeff. 13-9, Frontier. They're within four. A high pass is errant. Eldarina Sesson Johnny throws over to Kakamar on left side. Greenfield can get a little bit closer now on a 4-0 run. 6.45 to play in the half. Left side, Kakamar, they go into the left corner. Back to Kak on the wing, her pass batted down. Sesson John and three ball, top of the key, no good. Cloutier, the rebound, puts it up, no. Another offensive rebound. Bukala, Sesson John comes through with the right arm, no. Battling for the rebound, picks it up and scores. Wow, you might need a timeout here, Coach Mashan. And that's exactly what's going to happen. A 6-0 run for Greenfield. Timeout on the floor. 6-17 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Frontier 13, Greenfield 11. Greenfield on that 6-0 run, Bobby. Much better passing, much crisper, better separation. And defensively, they're causing some problems for the Hawks, too. They are. And you know, the other thing that they did really well, too, is they were able to get offensive rebounds, Jeff. And it surely has paid dividends to be able to get themselves back in this game. Nice little run right there by the Green Wave. Hopefully they can keep things going. You know, sometimes when you call a timeout, it sort of takes away from some of that momentum, and that's what Coach Mashan was hoping for. All right, Frontier now with the two-point lead back on the attack offensively. Anna Mackin on the right side, double team, gets it over to Kirkendall. Passes back top of the key. Caitlin Mackin, Kirkendall on the right side. Shot clock down the 10. Greenfield, Ding up. Mackin's gonna go baseline. Block, but a foul on Sesson Janin. Much to the frustration and chagrin of the Greenfield student section. You know, the one thing that Mackin's been able to do all year long is attack the basket. She likes to attack the basket. She gets to the line a lot. First free throw is up, no good. She'll get one more here. You know, Jeff, it seems like we've been calling her name forever. <laughs> it's true. Second one, in and out, no good. But the rebound, Hudkowski. It's it back to Hannah Mackin. Deep on the left side, trying to penetrate was Caitlin Mackin. Pull up jumper in the lane by Hannah Mackin, no good. Greenfield gets the defensive rebound and a chance to tie or take the lead here. Kakemeyer, cross court pass on the right. Nope, got tipped out of bounds. Wait a minute, I thought that was off Frontier. I think it yeah, was off Mackin, off, yeah, off John, Hannah. John yep. Patala is going to come over and meet. I think he had a good look at it. And I think this is going to be Greenfield basketball. No, they discussed it. It'll stay with Frontier. Mm -hmm. That did look like it was off of Hannah Mackin. Gonzalez checks in for Greenfield. 13-11, Frontier with the ball in the lead. Now we whistle, and now we're gonna do a redo. <laughs> the redos. All right, Kirkendall. Inbounds to Hannah Mackin. 
Anna into the front court, takes it to the right. Passes over to the left now. This is Caitlin Mackin. Right side, LaFord, right wing three ball, in and out, no good. Rebound battled for, comes down the frontier. Kirkendall has it. Jumper from the top of the key by Hannah Mackin, no good. Caitlin Mackin now banks it home. Boy, she just does such a good job using her body down low. Nice job right there by Caitlin Mackin. 15-11, Frontier, and Sesson Johnner with a brilliant drive through the containment, and she scores. Boy, she's not afraid to take it to the hole against these ladies from Frontier. Nice job right there by Azamina. 15-13, Frontier by two. On the right side, LaFord. She goes right baseline, and a blocking foul called against Greenfield. Boy, these guys and girls from the Greenfield student section, they're making some noise tonight, Bobby. Yeah, they're really into it, which is great, because we need this, because a lot of these gyms have been pretty quiet this year, Jeff. El Dorinda Sesson Johnson's getting set to check in. I'm sure she'll come in after this first of two free throws for Kyler LaFord. First one's up, it is short, no good. El Dorina in, and Josie Cloutier is out. Matter of fact, LaFord ended up having 20 the other night in their game that they played. Second one is no good. So missed them both, rebound goes out of bounds. It'll be Greenfield basketball. Four minutes, 42 seconds to play here in the first half. Frontier leading Greenfield by two. Greenfield has not led tonight. They have trailed by as many as eight. That was the uh, spread at the, oh, dribbling it out of bounds. Nice defense there by uh, Kirkendall, and basically dribbling it out of bounds was Kackelmeyer. Back to the Red Hawks. You know, the one thing I like about a lot of these girls from Greenfield is that even if they, you know, make a mistake, they get right back at it, which I like to see. Kirkendall. Out beyond the arc, looking for some help. Greenfield scrambling on defense. Coming all the way through. Hand on Mackin with a scoop shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Greenfield. Azamina, Sesson John on the right side. Kakemeyer, top of the key. Bukala, and a traveling call on Greenfield. No separation right there at all. That was a big problem right there on that possession. Yeah. Greenfield had literally, Bukala was literally <laughs> in the pocket of Kackelmeyer trying to get the ball to her, and she, that's why she traveled. McCullough is gonna check out right now, and uh, Josie Cludier back out there for the Lady Wave. So they're, they're keeping close, but they just can't quite take the lead against the Hawks. A steal now by Greenfield and a foul from behind as Greenfield was ready to fast break, but Gonzalez got basically uh, was held back. Honestly, that was a good foul. I mean, think about it. Yeah. Could have been a tie game. Yeah, probably coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah. A, a, a lay-in for the tie. Greenfield will try again here. And they have trailed throughout here. This is John. Tricky dribbles. Right side. El Dorina for three. No good. An attempted save along the baseline. Actually, it was saved by Cloutier, but it comes down to Frontier. Hawks lead by two. Kirkendall stops on the wing. Top of the key and a travel. Up fake by Caitlin Mackin and she shuffled her feet. Well, the green wave after being down in that first quarter, that nice run of the 6-0 run, got them back into it. They can still tie or take the lead. Sesson John and top of the up fakes, comes through the paint. Her leaner is good and we're tied at 15. She has taken over this game. As Amina Sessa Janin has taken over this game. Tied for the first time since 0-0. Now can Greenfield D up and potentially take the lead? Or will Frontier get the advantage back? Three-point bomb put up by Crookendale, no good. Rebound, LaFord goes up, no, but a reaching foul called on Greenfield. Probably on Eldarina, Sesson Johnson. It was. So Eldarina picks up her first foul. Last couple of free throws from LaFord didn't look so good, so hopefully she'll be able to get back in the swing here. First free throw is in the air, and that is no good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Scotty's on the Hill in Turner's Falls, Car Quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne Falls, and by Sandry Fuel. Right now, they're one for seven, Frontier from the line. Second free throw is good. Two for eight. 
Frontier 16, Greenfield 15. Three minutes to play here in the first half. Nearly a steal by Frontier. Justin Johnson has it on the right, dribbles into a double team. Gets it back to Kakemeyer. Three pointer on the left side. That is no good. Frontier comes back the other way. McKinney runs it up on the left, stops on the wing. Now is left open. She'll take a deep jumper. That's good for two. Nice shot. That was all nylon, too. Beautiful shot right there by McKimmy. Frontier 18, Greenfield 15. 2.25 to play here in the half. All along underneath, Josie Cloutier. Somebody fell asleep defensively. Yeah, but also a nice job by Lily Kacklemeyer to see the opening. The four tries to get it down low to Hannah Mackin. Stays in bounds and a held ball. And on the arrow, it'll stay with Frontier. And we have a timeout on the floor called by Greenfield. Two minutes, nine seconds to play here in the first half. And our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 18, Greenfield 17 on Bear Country, 5.3. That could change one way or the other. And uh, we'll also discuss briefly the biggest sports story of the day. It is official, Tom Brady has retired from the NFL. He's announced his uh, plan that he will not be back with the Bucks or anybody else for the 2022 season. And he never thanked New England. Uh, not today. Not today, exactly, not today. When he left New England, he definitely thanked them. Now Frontier yep. comes up with a steal. Right. Uh, I'm sure something's coming from Oh, from definitely, TV. definitely. In that regard. I he, agree. Kotkowski is going to go right baseline, stays in bounds into Hannah Mack and blind shot, throws it up no good. Comes down to Greenfield. Sesson Johnson, the three Frontier players chasing her into the corner, dribbles through them, takes it left side, puts it up no good. She was playing one on five there for a while, Bobby. Out of bounds, yeah. it'll go to Frontier. I'll tell you what, though, she is working. Azamina is really working here tonight. So Frontier continues to lead by one, 18-17. We're down to a minute 30 to play here in the first half. McKimmy, bounce pass down low, try to get it to Hannah Mackin. It got knocked out of bounds off Greenfield. So Frontier will keep it, 18 to shoot. So plenty of time there. Kylie LaFord will inbound on the baseline. Holds, throws it out deep. Hannah Mackin, top of the key, to the line, to the lane. Kicks it back, Kutkowski. Caitlin Mackin, shot clock down to 10. Hannah Mackin, down low, and the shot up no good by Caitlin, but a foul on Greenfield. Tell you what, that was a really nice job from sister to sister, being able to get that open look. And Caitlin Mackin back at the free throw line. Well, sometimes you want to loop it into the lane, and sometimes you want to really pop it in there. And that's what exactly. she did that. She, she did the pop it in there yeah and that made greenfield uh have to scramble to react and commit the foul first free throw good second one in and out no good so frontier leads by two 19 17 as we come down to the one minute mark here in the first half kakemeyer on the left side blocked as she went up goes out of bounds greenfield will keep it 101 on the game clock 20 on the shot clock kirkendall in and checking out hudkowski Tell you right now, I like when they end up, you know, bringing everybody to one side. I would have Cloutier cut to the hole when they're all bunching up on the other side for an easy look. Ooh. Open jumper, no good, but a whistle and a foul. I'll give and him two shots. Greenfield's going to the line. Looks like Mackenzie Goncalves is going to end up with that opportunity right now. First free throw is up, it is no good. Substitution for Greenfield, Eldorina Sassanjana. And she's gonna replace her sister. She needs a breather. McKimmy out for Frontier, and she's been replaced by Delaney Fifield. Second freebie on the way, back rim no. Skying for the rebound, Caitlin Mackin. Runs it up into the front court. Top of the key, stops there. Dumps it down low to Fifield. Cross court pass is picked off, but Frontier is able to steal it right back. LaFord will 
Back it out. Down low. Got to get it back to forward in the paint. That shot up at no good. And a oh. Mack, and as she was falling down, just flung it up there and it drops. Wow. wow. And it even had a little bit of the box in there too, Jeff. Oh, wow. yeah. That was amazing. Frontiers lead up to four now. Greenfield got it as close as one. They were never able to take the lead. Got it tipped out of bounds. Actually, Greenfield was able to tie at one point, but unable to take the lead. See what, well, I saw what Coach Hickey did. Uh, Azamina's got a couple fouls on her, so he took her out. And yep. then now that they're on the defense, on the offensive end, he got her back in. Top of the key, Kalkemeyer. They go on the left side, Cloutier. Her jumper is good. Wow, big shot right there. 21-19, Frontier by two with two seconds left in the half. Caitlin Mackin at the buzzer, it is good for three. What a shot by Caitlin Mackin at the buzzer, wow. Very exciting first half here at Nichols Gymnasium. Our score at intermission on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 24, Greenfield 19. The Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report is next. Bear Country 95.3. Well, halftime report, we are at Nichols Gym at Greenfield High School tonight. Good ball game here as the Frontier Red Hawks lead the Greenfield Green Wave at intermission by a score of 24 to 19. Jeff Terrell and Bobby C here at the gym and we got Dave Reno over on Woodward Road in Greenfield. I enjoyed that first half. I mean, uh, a few sloppy plays here and there, but I think both teams are playing really well, particularly Greenfield. They are giving Frontier everything they want and more. Well, you know, everything that they didn't do really well in that first quarter, they did really well in the second. And the one thing that they did, and we've been talking about this, and you and I were chatting about this about two weeks ago. We were saying how some of these teams aren't really attacking the basket the way they should. Well, looks like Azamina Sesajana must have listened to us because she's been doing that very well here tonight. Absolutely. And for Frontier, uh, listen. They're getting a supreme challenge by Greenfield, but let's not short sell what they've done. They've played well, just Greenfield's playing about as well as we've seen them play. Frontier though, uh, they, they are definitely playing some good basketball tonight so far. Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, Caitlin Mackin is still doing what she does. I mean, if you look at what her sister was able to do and that beautiful shot she made literally on the ground and then you got great jobs that have been done by Hakoski. Also, we can't forget about LaForge. She's still a very dominant person as well. There are six people that are in the scoring column for Frontier, and the three that have been able to be their only scorers throughout the whole year, it seems like, and that is Cloutier, which wasn't with us last Friday because of the COVID protocol that she was on, is now yep. back, and Sessa Janin and Kacklemeyer, and they're your scorers right there. But really, 24-19, that means that it's anybody's game going into the second half. The question is, Will that defense tighten up a little bit more by the Red Hawks, or will the Green Wave continue to attack the basket, get easy baskets, and be able to stay in this game? We're going to find out in just a few minutes. All right, Greenfield ended up outscoring Frontier 14-11, and uh, that was after the Mac and three make at the end. Otherwise, it would have been a 14-8 to eight advantage for Greenfield in that second quarter. But I think Coach Hickey, I mean, and Coach Emerson, I, mean, I think they'll take it. They're down by five with... Uh, 16 minutes of basketball still remaining. Take a timeout here on our halftime report. More live from Nichols Gym after this on Bear Country 95.3. And then we're gonna run our numbers here before we get you ready for the second half. For Greenfield, 11 points in a solid first half of basketball as Amina Sessajanin. Lily Kacklemeyer has four, Josie Cloutier has four. There's your 19 for Greenfield. Now for Frontier, leading the way with nine points is Caitlin Mackin. Also five from Kali LaFord, four from Haley Hakoski. Also there's two from Madison McKemmy, also Hannah Mackin and Claire Kirkendall. All right, Jeff, we are back here, 24-19, Frontier with the five-point lead. Really, it would have been a two-point lead if they were able to stop Caitlin Mackin, who put up a three at the buzzer and gave them that five-point lead going into the locker room. Yeah, speaking to Caitlin Mack, and she just joined her team's uh, huddle as we get set for the second half. Greenfield will come out with their original starting five, and I'm imagining Frontier will do likewise, but we're gonna get our answer right now. And yes, it is, okay. 
Yep, there's the there's forward. Ford. Exactly, yep. Yeah, okay. Frontier with the ball, a five point lead. Again, Greenfield was able to tie it. They never led, but they're also not going away anytime soon. We'll see if they can hang in and steal the big upset victory on their home court. And Hannah Mack and throws right side, Kyler LaFord. Kirkendall has it deep on the right on the wing. They dump it down low. Nice play by Koski. Can't finish though. Rebound put up by Hannah Mackin and hits. Nice job right there by Hannah Mackin to be able to get that offensive rebound. All of a sudden, seven point lead. 26 to 19 in favor of the Hawks. They get it in deep, down low. Shot rims out, no good. Tipped around. Comes to Hannah Mackin. But you're now looking to extend upon their advantage. Deep on the right side, LaFour with a rainbow three, and that doesn't quite get the bounce. And the rebound put up and in by Hudkowski. Ah, nice job right there. All of a sudden, what got Greenfield in trouble early in that first quarter, not getting rebounds, getting them in trouble now. Greenfield's now down by nine. The jumper no good by Kalkmeyer. Weak side rebound though by Cloutier. It's batted down by Hinnemack and out of bounds. Greenfield will keep it. So a 4-0 run by Frontier to begin the second half. Let's see if Greenfield can counterpunch. Listen, John. Picks up the dribble. It is stolen by Caitlin Mackin. Caitlin's going to take it all the way through, and the lefty land is good. Oh, all of a sudden, a 6-0 run. You need a T.O. here. And John Hickey says, exactly. We're going to put a stop to this right now. Timeout on the floor, 6.45 to play third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's now Frontier 30, Greenfield 19, Bear Country 95.3. All right, Greenfield now having been outscored 6-0 to begin the second half. And the timeout and a steal now by LaFour. Quickly double team, but is able to get it away to Kirkendall. Left side, Hudkowski passes it down low. And a jumper from the right side is up no good. Held ball on the rebound. It'll go to the green wave on the arrow. All right, you got to get yourself back into the swing of things here if you're Greenfield. Went then outscored on that three-pointer right at the buzzer plus the six to start. Big difference right there to a nine-point swing right there by Frontier. Sisson Janet. Goes left side, Kakemeyer can't penetrate, had it poked away, terrific D by the Hawks. They're off and running now, Kayla Mackin beats everyone down court and lays it up and in. Yeah, defense is why they're doing what they're doing here, Jeff, and that's what they've been doing all year long. 32-19 in favor of Frontier now. They're starting to really open it up. They're locking down on defense as well. Kakemeyer having some trouble, finally does get it away. Now the line jumper is up, no good, and clearing out. I gotta <laughs> tell you, they cleared out Anna Bukala down low. She ended up just getting flattened, so easy foul call there. Kirkendall took her out. <laughs> really did. On the floor, however, not shooting foul, so Greenfield inbound on the baseline. And looking for their first points of the third quarter here. This is Janin, gets it in to Kakamaya, right side, she gets tripped. And that foul call is gonna go on Hutkowski. Two, two, yep. Oh, there's two quick fouls right there by the Red Hawks in the past six seconds. He invited to Kakamaya. Through the hands of Flutie, that's gonna be a backcourt violation. Took her eyes off it and ended up on the frontier side of the court. It'll be Red Hawk basketball. Hannah Mackin takes it across the G logo at the center court circle. Gets it to Caitlin Mackin at a high post. Tried to dump it down low, picked off. As Amina says, and Janin goes through and a blocking foul called against Kylie LaFord. A little bit of an elbow yeah, there too. I was gonna say that could have honestly went either way. Yeah, that's and what especially, I was And especially at the end with how Azamina brought that elbow out. Usually when the chicken wing comes out, it's usually an offensive. Yep, more often than not, that's true. All right, see if Greenfield can get on the board here in the third. First of two free throws is up and good. 
Makes it 32-20, Frontier by 12. Mackenzie Gonsalves checks back in for Greenfield. Sitting down is Kackelmeyer. One more for Susan Jannon. It is up, back rim no good. Loose ball is picked up by Caitlin Mackin. Dribbles away all the way to the right side. Stops there, now she'll take it in. Little scoop shot, no, but a foul. When she made the decision to go, I mean, she didn't hesitate. She just took off towards the goal. You know, Frontier is going to be dangerous when people like Mackin take it to the hole during playoff time and how she's been able to do that so easily. I agree. It puts a lot of pressure on the defense to, uh, to catch up to her. First free throw by Caitlin's good. She'll get one more here. And she's a good finisher too, Jeff. She finishes it. Second freebie is perfect. And Frontier's lead is up to 14, 34-20. They have dominated here in the third so far. Justin Jennett being pestered by Mackin. Right side pass, Cluda, they jump out on her. Justin Jennett gets doubled. They work at left side. Shot clock down to 10. Now a steal. LaFord, coast to coast, lays it up and in. Oh man, Frontier definitely taking advantage of their defensive plays and transition defense turns into great offense and that's exactly why they are dominating right now by 16. Yep, they definitely made the halftime adjustments. Cloutier with a three ball, right side no good. Rebound, Gonzalez went to the bank, no good. So Greenfield still having scored just one point here in the second half. Got a sub getting ready to come in for Frontier. Caitlin Mackin for three, off the back rim, no good. Kirkendall the rebound, banks it home. Oh boy, Coach Hickey must be really trying to figure out what he can get for a combination that's gonna work. Because right now, nothing's really working. Frontier's lead is 18 now. Obviously biggest of the night, 38-20. We're halfway through the third. On the wing, nearly a travel, somehow got away with it, and then a foul call on Frontier. Frontier Hawks are saying, hey, she traveled, she up faked, but uh, evidently she kept the pivot foot on the floor. We couldn't see the we couldn't see the foot, so we can't you know we can't judge from where we were. So, but putt was right there. Gates and McKimmy check in for Frontier. Kirkendall and Hannah Mack and check out for the Hawks. Nico gets a new shot clock. Four fouls on Frontier this half. Only one against Greenfield. Justin Jen deep on the left side. Bounce pass, top of the key. Cloutier is going to take a three, went for the bank, no good. Rebound comes down to Gates. Got it away to Caitlin Mackin. So now there's one Mackin on the court. So when we say Mackin, we mean Caitlin. Finds McKimmy coming through, counted and one. Nice job right there by McKimmy to be able to cut to the hole. They got her the ball, she makes it, and now a chance at a three-point play. Kakemeyer back on the court for the Lady Wave. Josie Cloutier will take a seat on the bench. And McKimmy's gonna try to make it a three-point play. Frontier now has doubled up on Greenfield. It is 40 to 20. This happened in a hurry, Bobby. It did. And the free throw, however, is no good, but runs down the rebound. Frontier will maintain possession. Caitlin Mackin on the right. Dumps it down low. Nice defensive play though by Sesson Jen. And up ahead to Kakamara comes through with the lefty land and it's good. Well, good job right there by Sessa Jannon to see Kackelmeyer cut to the hole. Maybe they got to do that. Maybe they got to have someone that's going to be a cutter. And Frontier's going to call a timeout here. We'll take the break. Three minutes to play, third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 40, Greenfield 22. High school basketball on Bear Country 95.3. So Dave Sean calls timeout. We'll see what he comes out with now. It looks like the same five that were out there before the timeout. And if you're Greenfield, listen, you've only scored three points in the quarter. You're struggling, but you want to finish the third quarter strong here. Let's see if they can do it. Well, I got an idea, but I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'll run it by you in just a minute. McKimmy, between the circles, stops on the wing. Nice dish down low. Good and work. Finishing down low is Sepkoski. That was a great pass. Yeah, that's good ball movement too right there. 42-22, Frontier now back up by 20. Deep on the right side, they dump it down low. Here comes Kackemeyer. And 
as he sealed off. Shot clock down to 11. She's quadruple teamed and a held ball. The arrow will favor Frontier. This is what I wanted to tell you. You can't do anything about it when it's a made basket, but if you get a rebound and you've got people that are going to come up on you, you got to have a person cut and make that play like they did before yeah. where Kacklemeyer was wide open. Someone's got to see the floor and look for the cutter if they're triple team to look for someone down court. Unfortunately, Kacklemeyer had no choice with four people in her face. Yeah, she got quadruple team. Yeah, that that's, pass that's, that's, that's no, pretty hard. That's yeah, very hard. <laughs> Obviously, someone's open. But, oh, yeah, but you got to get can, it to them first. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you yeah. got every single part of your body covered. Now, Frontier's defense here uh, all night long, but especially here in the third quarter, has been just suffocating. Yeah, now see, we got double teams. Someone's got to be open. And it gets tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Greenfield. Well, they took it to the sideline and the sideline acts like an extra defender. Absolutely, and we've been talking about that all year too. They inbound it, Sesson Janin, Kakamar in the left corner, quickly double team, yep, finds the open girl, top of the key, but a block. Gonsalves gets the rebound, puts it up no good, and it comes down to Hutkoski, runs it down, no pass, and a 360 oh. by Caitlin Mackin, and she scores. How beautiful was that? Beautiful job right there by Caitlin Mackin. Wow. Greenfield travels as they are uh, coming through the backcourt. Substitution. Fightfield is going to come in. I tell you, Mace Pollen makes a. Mace Pollen is a very good defender. She really is. She did a nice job on that last play. Yep. And Frontier has. You only have four girls on the court right now. No, they right. got five. They got five, okay. Yeah. McKimmy, between the circles, cutting back and forth, passes right side, and it ends up in the hands of Eldorina Sesson Giant, poked away by Mays Pollen. They're gonna get her on the foul call. A little over aggressive by Elena. Yeah, she, uh, she's a good defender. Five fouls this half on Frontier. We're down to a minute 30 to play here in the third. Eldorino sets to a quick release three. Front rim no good. Rebound taken down by Gates. And they get it to McKinney. She'll take it across the timeline. Center court circle. Top of the key. Stops there. Bounce pass high post. Caitlin Mackin quickly doubled. Pass is batted away. Nice Greenfield uh, defensive effort there. Coming across. Bukala. And the pass goes right to Fifield. Delaney gets it to Caitlin Mackin. She'll take it across the timeline. Pass is tipped. Gates has it though. Top of the key, McKimmy. Into the left corner. Three point bomb put up. Good! Mays Pollen hits the tray. Nice job right there by Elena. That was a beautiful shot right there. Frontier now leads by 25. They're led by five at halftime. All Red Hawks here in the third. Deep on the left side. Pass is batted down again by Frontier. And Ooh. then a hell of ball going down hard. It was McKinney. She's okay. They got to talk about maybe a, a foul. A not a help. Yeah. Intentional foul. Did they didn't. Okay. They call uh, it just a jump ball. Jump ball. And yep. Greenfield will keep it on the arrow. Just a little on the aggressive side going after the ball, which is fine. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. You're not, you're not, you're not supposed to let the other team get the ball. Got to get in there and rip it. Hayes checks in for Greenfield. Nearly a steal on the inbounds. With the ball right now is Bukala. Takes it across the timeline. Double team. She's got to get rid of it, and she does. There comes Kakemeyer, her leaner. Front rim, no good. McKimmy, the rebound, held ball. No, it's going to be a foul, and that is going to go on Kacklemeyer. That's the third team foul on the Green Wave. So Frontier with the big 25 point lead as we're down to the final 12 seconds here in the third quarter. Into the left corner. They dump it down low. Fifield hits from the right block. You know, that was a beautiful interior pass right in there to Delaney, and she was able to capitalize right before the buzzer. And that's how the third quarter will end. End of three here at Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 49, Greenfield 22 on Bear Country 95.3. Leading by 27 after only leading by five at halftime. 
Bounce pass down low to Abby Howard, and she tried to pass out of a double team, ends up getting picked up by Kakemeyer. Azamina Sessin-Jannon will take it across. On the right side, quick release three is up no good. Hayes unable to convert there. McKimmy has it, runs it into the front court, top of the key. Left side pass, Hannah Mackin, her leaner, bounces once, <laughs> twice, and falls through. Three times for the lady, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Frontier cruising, 51-22. Sesson Jannon, her jumper from the free throw line, no good. Kylie LaForge, she had a nice long break here in the third quarter. She's back out there now. And before long, Dave Michelle will be able to clear the bench. McKimmy, beyond the arc, cuts in, throws up a tough shot. Abby Howard, the putback, no good. And beating everyone down court is Kakamire, and she'll lay it up and in. You were just talking about that, Bobby. Exactly, and that's not a bad idea to try to do it until somebody decides to play defense against you. You know what team did that all the time? Uh, Katie Wells Robinson's out there, by the way. Three ball by LaFord is no good. Akamara was down there, got tipped out of bounds, and it will stay with Greenfield. Should have went with it. Well, the, the, the boys team that uh, back in their heyday, as much as they were known for Adam Harrington's outside shooting and everything, was the, uh, the transition game of that Pioneer boys team. They'd get a steal or a rebound, and they would just be off to the races, and they were not unstoppable, but pretty close to unstoppable, at least in the Hampshire League. Yeah. Jumper from the top of the key, they went for the bank, no good. Sesson Jenin, shot no good, comes down with it again, puts it up, no, and LaFord gets the loose ball. It's funny because uh, Coach Michon used to play against uh, some of those kids from Pioneer. <laughs> That's a travel yeah. on McKimmy, that's right. <laughs> We're going back to and the he 90s was, for he that. Was pretty good. He was pretty good himself. Dave was a good ball player too. Oh, definitely, good athlete, yeah. 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 Good football player. And uh, of course, Lily Kackelmeyer's Uncle Chris is always tuning into these games, Jeff, so you, you probably got a little kick out of what you said. And they tie up Carlo at the free throw line on the arrow, possession Greenfield. Substitution, McKenzie is back in, and sitting down will be Abby Carlo. And we're gonna see Josie Cludio come back in for Kakalire. Inbound the ball, cross court pass to Cludio. They go back top of the key, poked away, battle for the ball, and a Mackin comes through and a reach and foul called on Cloutier of Greenfield. Take a minute here to thank more of the sponsors on the broadcast here tonight. First free throw is up. No good, we'll get one more here. Uh, Triton Automotive with us here, Albert Hearing Services. Foster's Supermarket, Pete Seafood, and Rouse Towing Service. Second free throw, no good. 51-24, Frontier by 27. And <laughs> Sesson Johnny comes all the way through, hits, and it was fouled. You know, that was, that was all power. That was all muscle, taking it right in. Foul was on Abby Howard. And she'll try to make it a three-point play here. Yeah, she just uh, willed herself in close enough to make the bucket. Hits the free throw as well. Frontier 51, Greenfield 27. 5.20 to play in this one. McKinney takes it across. Working a little weave right now. McKinney to the foul line, bounce pass left side. Wells Robinson, Anna Mackin, shot clock running down. Mackin gets blocked, but a foul called against Greenfield. It looks like they got Josie Clute here. I think that's three on her. Five team fouls on Greenfield, so we're not into the one and one yet, but they're gonna say hacked in the act. So two free throws here for Hannah Mackin. And the 
free throw is up and good. After the game, we'll be joining Leah already in progress. And checking in for her first minutes, Bree Strozik. Abby Howard will take a seat of the bench. Are we gonna get a line change here? No. Howard and LaFord are both out now. So we'll see uh, Strozik. She's looked good in the games we've done on Bear Country so far this year. Yeah. Second free throw, no good. Wells Robinson tried to get it back. Loose ball on the floor. Big battle for it. Who wants it more? Hell ball. Arrow favors the Red Hawks. Now at 7-10, we will say that you're listening to High School Basketball on WPVQ, WPVQ HD, Bear Country 95.3 Greenfield. They throw it into Caitlin Mack and, and her jumper is good for two. What a night. What a night. Yeah, she's pretty much done it all. 54-27, so Frontier has doubled up on Greenfield again here. Nice give and go, coming through, blocking foul down low on Frontier. Bacala going to go to the line for two. And they ended up getting Wells Robinson. Two free throws for Anna. First one is on the way. It is no good. She'll get one more here. One more free throw for Anna Bukala. It's up, and that one's off the back rim, no good. Caitlin back in the rebound. Runs it across on the right. Stops on the wing, then backs it out. Now she'll take it in. Backs it out again. Try to get over to Hannah Mackin. McKimmy backs up the play, prevents the turnover. Shot clock is down to 12. And a high post, Willis Robinson turns, shoots. No good, tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to the Red Hawks. You know, that was a really good play right there. She had the open look too. Yep. Just had to take the ball and just shoot it. And that's what you want. You don't want her to put the ball on the ground. It's a nice opportunity right there for the Red Hawks. Greenfield's going to bring Carlo back out there, Kakamayer and Azamina, Sesson Janin. Kimmy down quickly to Wells Robinson. Off the glass, no good, but she got fouled. And Katie's going to go the line for two free throws here. Looks like the high school hockey program got out of practice, hey? The guys just joined the stands. Yeah. So we'll get some more fans close by now. First free throw is no good. And we have several subs coming in for Frontier here. <laughs> no, no, actually, I guess just the two. Yeah, just the two. In and out, no good. So they will have to wait. They would have come in on a make. Bacala. Gets it back. Bounce pass on the right side. Kakamire fakes the three. Now she'll force up a shot from the right side. That is no good. Kimmy will take it across. We're halfway through the fourth quarter. Frontier cruising to yet another victory. They're going to be part of the postseason mix. Definitely. Anna Mackin slices through the lane. No good, but a blocking foul on Greenfield. I think we're going to see Mays Pollen and also uh, for the first time tonight, I think we're going to see Berthium. Yes. Kelly. First free throw by Hannah Mackin is good. Yeah, Berthium is coming in. LaFord's going to come back in. Wells Robinson checks out. McKimmy will take a seat on the bench as well. Looks like Mays Pollen's gonna go in for the shooter. So if she makes the shot, they'll buzz the buzzer again. Free throw is around the rim and out. So Mays Pollen will have to wait. Sesson Janin brings it up, goes for the bank. That shot is no good. Another rebound by Caitlin Mackin. Takes it across. 
Between the circles, Hannah Mack, and she's gonna take a three, and that is no good. Comes down the Greenfield, Kakemeyer releases, heads down court, and lays it in with the right hand. You know, that's worked in this second half for Greenfield. 55-29, timeout Frontier. They're gonna get some of their subs in. We'll take a break. 3.13 to play in the basketball game. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 55, Greenfield 29. And on the rebound, a foul called against the Red Hawks and Greenfield shooting on the other end. As it is Azamina Sessanjanin who will go to the free throw line for one and one. Turn out of the one and one, no good. Battle for the board. Sessanjanin gets it back, puts it up short. And it comes away to Mace Paulin. Ace Pollen runs it up on the left side and she got run into it. That's gonna be a foul called against Greenfield. Gonna go against Anna Bacala. And Mace Pollen will be shooting two on the far end. Gotta remember the hockey team has a bunch of kids from Frontier on it too, you know, Jeff. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right, Greenfield Hockey is a co-op program so they draw from all over. See, they got a couple kids that are sitting <laughs> in the stands that are cheering. <laughs> <laughs> but yet, they play they're, for the green right. and white on the ice. Exactly. When they're on ice, it's all about Greenfield. Off ice, yep. it's go Hawks. That's right. Free throw is good. 57-29. Substitution for Frontier. Back out there again is Molly Gates. So everyone has gotten into the game here. Yeah. For the Red Hawks. And for all teams. Yeah, Greenfield got them all in too. Kakemeyer for three, in and out, no good. Nice rebound by Bacala. Try to get it down low to Sesson Jannon. We have a hell ball, and the possession arrow will favor the Frontier Red Hawks. Greenfield's gonna bring in three new girls here for the last 2.34. 57-29 Frontier. This was a 24-19 game at halftime. And Frontier outscored Greenfield 25 to three to break it open, cruising home from there. Yeah, and then if you think about that three-pointer that went in at the end of that half, that was an extra three that happened right there at the end as well. No, so. Could have been a uh, two-point game. That's at it. Intermission. Yes. But Frontier made the adjustment. Caitlin Mackin comes through on the left block. She got fouled. More free throws coming up on the far end of the court. I'm gonna run a stat by, just, I'm curious, and I'll, I'll share it with you in a second. All right, Bobby's, uh, Bobby's working on it. First free throw by Kayla Mackin is good, so you can yep. mark a circle there. One more for Caitlin. It's in the air, that one good as well. 59-29. Frontier's lead is 30. We're down to 2.20 to play in this one. We'll have our post-game show, and again, Leah already in progress. Nice suffocating Frontier D. Greenfield though sticking with it. Heads up in the hands of Caitlin Mack and somehow got it away to Mace Pollen. Long pass down court. The shot was no good. And back the other way comes the green wave. Under two to play now. The green wave pass, right side, Cloutier. They get it back. Three pointer from the right wing is good. Oh, Pace. nice shot right there by Madeline Hayes. 59-32 in favor of Frontier. Down low, Caitlin Mackin hit the underside of the backboard. Berthium the rebound, back to Mackin, puts it up and in. Wow. You know, they probably could, they probably could have got a three second call out of that. 61-32, no one, all, all Greenfield players headed down court and it's a five second violation. Oh boy. Four girls headed down court, no one came back to take the inbounds pass. Wanted to let folks know what the difference is between free throws for each team. 25 times at the line for Frontier, nine for Greenfield. So one of these teams was really forcing the issue. Exactly, that's <laughs> that's the point I wanted to make. And we'll let yeah. you guess who, which team that was. Gets tipped out of bounds as they were trying to keep it away from Berthium. It'll stay with the Hawks. Frontier's yeah. doubled up Greenfield right now. 
Yep, they've doubled them up on uh, several occasions tonight. Just about almost doubled up. Caitlin Mackin puts up a three, no good. Rebound, loose on the floor. LaFord, leaner, no, out of bounds. It'll go back to Greenfield, a minute eight to play. 61-32, Frontier. Now well, three more possessions in this one and that'll be the end of it, Jeff. On the right side. That's gonna be a three from the top of the key. That is no good by El Dorino. Susan Janet, LaFord, down low. Caitlin Mackin, beautiful oh, oh, oh. move and puts it up and in. That was beautiful. What a great night tonight by Caitlin Mackin. Honestly, she's been good every night since we've been watching her this season. Really came up with the steal there. Loose ball on the floor. Greenfield will keep it going. Hayes has it. Next side pass. Hayes gets it back. Shot clock down to 12. And now they do come up with the steal. Mays Poland had it poked away from behind. It rolls out of bounds. They're going to say it's off Frontier. Caitlin Mackin finally checks out. Gets a nice hand from the Frontier crowd that made it up here to Greenfield today. And we're down to the last 15 seconds. If they will try to add their point total. Oh, they nearly threw it away. Eight seconds left. Five seconds, they get it down low. And in deep, put up and in by Gonzalez. And that's how this one will end. Final score here at Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 63. Greenfield 34. Stay tuned. The post game show next on Bear Country 95.3. Basketball post game show as Frontier sweeps the season series against Greenfield. Last Friday night at home, a 46 to 20 victory, and they win it here tonight, 63 to 34. Jeff and Bobby Courtside, Dave in our studio. The third quarter did it because Greenfield really took the fight to the Red Hawks in that second quarter. Uh, they tied the game on one occasion. They were sticking around, sticking around. Coach Mashan and his girls, they made the adjustments at halftime. Third quarter, all frontier. They put up 25 points, to only three for Greenfield. There's your ball game. Yeah, and if you think about the three-pointer that happened at the end of the first half, and you want to add that in there, too, now you got 28 to three. So you had a 25-point swing, and that's where it all went away right there for Greenfield. Pretty much they weren't able to get back into it after that. And Frontier definitely has some great defense that that's what they work with. And they take a lot of those defensive plays, they turn it into offense. And tonight, I'm gonna tell you right now, Caitlin Mackin, she took over. Her and Azamina Sessajanin for Greenfield. They were both pretty dominant here tonight. The thing about Frontier, their defense is absolutely relentless. You have to be ready for it. And for a while in that second quarter, Greenfield was handling it. They just couldn't sustain it. And listen, they gave it a shot. They gave Frontier everything they wanted. Frontier clearly the better team here tonight. But, uh, you know, Greenfield's something to build on in the future. If you, if you can go through an extended stretch where you're challenging Frontier the way Greenfield is, you're on to something good. Absolutely. And if you look at... Also, the balanced scoring that they have when it comes to other people stepping up to score, that's one thing Frontier has over a lot of teams. Unfortunately, Greenfield only has three or four girls that can score, and that's exactly what happened tonight, where if you look at Frontier, they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different girls that were able to get in the scoring column tonight. That's a big difference, Jeff. It really is. Bobby, we'll have you run those final numbers. Speaking of that, and then we'll wrap things up here. All right, let's do it. Uh, for Greenfield, leading the way, like we talked about, Azamina says to Janet, she ended up with 15, 10 from Lily Kacklemeyer, also four from Josie Cloutier, also Mackenzie Goncal signs up with two, and Madeline Hayes ends up with that nice three-pointer right near the end of the game. For Frontier, 25 for Caitlin Mackin. We talked about her all night tonight. Hannah Mackin ended up with eight points tonight. Also eight points from Haley Hakoski. Also Kylie LaFord ended up with seven. We had four points from three different people tonight. Claire Kirkendell ended up with four. Also Alina moss Paulin and also Madison McKemmy. And then two points was also in there. And that is the two points that was scored by Fifield. So there you have it. Uh, 63 
34 win for Frontier. They sweep the season against Greenfield, and this is how you want to go in to the month of February. Absolutely. Very impressive performance by both teams on different levels. But in the end, Frontier wins it. Final score for the final time here from Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 63, Greenfield 34 for Bobby C. and for Dave Reno. I'm Jeff Terrell. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight, and have a great night in bear country.